All right, this is how the speaker sound right now, y'all. Listen to this. This is how shitty these speakers sound. So I figured I'd help out and buy my girlfriend some brand new speakers. Now the brand of this speaker is a speaker that I'm not being paid to sponsor. So we just gonna have to leave it at that. I will tell you this speaker and the other speaker I have, they're three way, two of them, they a thousand watts. So I'm gonna put these two in the front two doors and I got something else planned for the back. Next thing you wanna do, if you plan on tackling this project yourself, is you want to make sure you get a speaker wire harness adapter kit what this does is it keeps you from hacking apart your factory wiring uh system for your speakers when you open the doors and it just makes it a plug and play type of thing so basically you unplug it from the existing speaker plug this in and it automatically connects to the back of this speaker right here that way it keeps you from splicing. And this uh, speaker right here, which you already see the brand. So, hey, that's that. But uh, this right here, it's a woofer. And you can tell by the back, it's a little bit bigger than the ones that I'm going to be putting in the front. You see the difference? Big difference. The reason I decided to put woofers, and these are 300 watt um, woofers for the rear. The ones I have up front, they are... 500 watts a piece. I didn't want too many high notes basically. I also didn't want too many low notes I wanted a perfect balance So I figured a three-way range speakers in the front and just put two woofers in the back Which is something similar to what I did the barricade So that's that and I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you how I install this All right, so first thing you want to do is disconnect the battery if you don't know how to disconnect the battery You shouldn't be doing this at all. You see this? You want to pop that bad boy out of there like so we have another screw right here. This right here, gotta go. Oh yeah, screw right there. Another hidden screw right here. So you wanna take a flat head and get this bad boy out. That's recessed up in there. Then you wanna get your weapon of choice to remove them. I'm gonna use a screwdriver. It's a fancy screwdriver. Make sure you got all of the fasteners out. Then there's some plastic clips behind here retaining this panel. So I got a good a get together right here. So I'm gonna just pry gently on it. All right, so let's go behind the door and see what's going on here. If you'll notice, we got some wires back here. We have to disconnect before we can actually take this panel off. All you have to do is push that down and pull out. And you got another one right here. And it's the same way you get this one out. Take the last connection out from the door. And here you have the door. Now, we can access our speaker, which is right here. This is what a 20 year old speaker looks like. So we're gonna pull this back so we can work. Let's hook that over the door like so. And let's get to taking this out. Now we can pry this out. On the back right here, you'll notice it has a little clip. So all you gotta do is pull back on the clip and release the tab. Old speaker, new speaker. Side view, this one is a little bit bigger. That's the factory speaker, but this one packs more of a punch. And you can see it has an inboard mounted tweeter right here. This one doesn't. First thing you'll notice when you go to mount it, is that the holes don't line up. So you will need a drill and you have to drill your own holes. All right, so here we have our harness adapter connection right here, aftermarket. You'll notice on this, the direction don't say so, but the black is ground and the white 
is going to be your positive. I'm going to show you how you're going to do this on the speaker side. You'll notice on the rear of the speaker, I don't think you can see it, but the one on the left right here is negative. This is positive. So that's where you will mount these two, put one on either side. So moving over to the door, you'll notice this connection right here. And that's where this end goes to. So you just slip this in here when you're ready to, and those two go to the speaker. But now we need to focus on mounting it. So I'm gonna end up drilling some holes. All right, so the way I do this is, I just loosely put the speaker on the door. Then with the center punch or whatever you have, I, I end up scratching it or making marks for where I want my screws to go. Then you want to take your drill, put your drill bit in, all that fun stuff, and uh, drill some holes. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Just drill what you got marked off. So moving over to the door, you'll notice this connection right here. And that's where this end goes to. So you just slip this in here when you're ready to, and those two go to the speaker. But now we need to focus on mounting it. So I'm gonna end up drilling some holes. All right, so the way I do this is, I just loosely put the speaker on the door. Then with the center punch or whatever you have, I end up scratching it or making marks for where I want my screws to go. Then you wanna take your drill, put your drill bit in, all that fun stuff, and uh, drill some holes. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Just drill what you got marked off. Now we just gotta find out where these screws are hitting at. I right, you know there's one right there. Yeah, there's one right there. Go. One right here. Where you at? You recessed in there. Look at them recessed in there. <laughs> you got to go today, buddy. Time to get this door off, this panel off. Don't be scared with it neither. You ain't gonna break nothing. Well, you might. Oh, something fell up out of there. Up and over. And boom, we can see our connections right here. Unlike the front, it's only one. You got to disconnect. So in order to get this tab out of here, all you got to do is, we'll push down on this tab and lift up. That's pretty much it. And that's all you got to worry about. That's out the way. Just throw that to the side. Look at this speaker. Look at it. Man, that's terrible. Damn. That's in rough shape. Let's put it out of his misery. Flathead. Let's pry it up out of here. It's been in there for a while. Doesn't want to go. It's got to go. You got to go, buddy.
All right, once again, you're gonna to wanna to find the positive and negative on the back. You wanna line it up. Stick that on there. You wanna put this side back on the same way you did on the front in the connector right here. And then you're gonna to wanna to drill your hose around the door and get it in there. All right, and once you finish installing your speaker door, make sure all the screws are tight. Check it out, folks. Yeah. <laughs> then you just put your door panel back on. Like it's nothing. professional job right there it ain't take nothing but what 30 minutes it took 30 minutes how long you think that took mm. how long that took two hours how long that took baby two hours <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah project piper mm. check out the head unit now that really took some time to do all right so i've just just finished putting the speakers all four speakers and my girlfriend's Jeep. I got her the uh, three-way speakers up front and two subs in the back. And let's check out how it sounds now. Like them? Yeah. You happy with them? Yes. Yeah. Alright, that's what I like to hear. That's gonna wrap this up. Alright y'all, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.